Yo, how is it going everyone? Welcome back to Code Crushers. My name is Martin and today I will guide you on how to download SQL Server. SQL Server is a powerful relational database management system developed by Microsoft that allows you to store and manage large amounts of data. In this video, we will show you how to download and install SQL Server on your Windows computer step by step. So let's get started. The first step that you're going to make is to go to the SQL Server download page and to do that you have to open your favorite browser and then you're going to search for SQL download or you can find the link of this website in the description below. I will put the link over there. So here on the download page you will see different versions of uh, SQL Server and the one that we need is the Express version SQL Server 2022 Express is a free edition of a SQL Server. It's ideal for uh, development and production for desktop. To download the SQL, we need to press on download now button and uh, the download will uh, automatically start. So here we can also download the SQL Server for uh, Linux and Docker. So after the download is finished, click on the file and uh, it will automatically open. So now we have to choose the installation type. We can choose between basic and uh, custom. Basic will uh, install SQL Server with default settings, while custom will allow you to choose the features that you want to install. So I will go with basic and then we have to accept the Microsoft SQL Server license terms. Click on accept. Then you have to choose the location where you want to save the SQL server, the location of the file. You have to make sure you have the minimum free space and then click on install. I will leave the install location as default and I will click on install. The installation may take uh, several minutes to complete depending on the features you have chosen. We went for basic so it will take some time. After the download uh, is completed, it will start installing the files. After the installation is completed successfully, we have to install uh, SSMS. And uh, to do that, we have to click on install this install button here. Click on it and click open with Google Chrome. And we have to click on uh, this link here. I will also put this link on the video description and uh, click on this uh, uh, text here with a link to download SSMS. Wait until this file uh, is completed downloading. After the download is completed, click on the file and uh, it will uh, pop up a window. And after clicking on the file, this window will uh, pop up. Uh, we have to select the location where we want to install it. And if you want to change, I will leave it as default. I don't want to change it. And then you have to click on install. And Microsoft uh, SQL Server Management Studio with uh, Azure Data Studio will start installing and loading uh, its packages. And we have to wait. Wait until it finished and uh, to continue with the other steps. So after this setup is completed, click on close. And uh, after that is finished, go to the search and search for uh, SQL uh, Server Management Studio 19 and click on this app. If you have done everything uh, all right, it should, uh, you should find it. But uh, if something didn't work out for you, I will leave a link of uh, my Discord server. You can leave a comment and uh, I will try to help you. And you can also join our community so we can help you there. So here we are on uh, uh, the SQL server. Here we are on the interface. Here you have some, uh, some options. You have the server type database engine, server name is the desktop uh, name and uh, we can uh, connect using our desktop uh, credentials and then click on connect, leave it as default, select Windows authentication so you can log in with your Windows credentials and then click on connect. And uh, after clicking on connect you will uh, see here some uh, databases, system databases master 
here is the tables. If you want to learn more about SQL, we will be posting a tutorial uh, soon. And uh, I will leave the link of this tutorial in the video description or you can find it as a pop-up on the screen. It will be a more detailed tutorial on how to use SQL and uh, it will be for beginners and for advanced if they want to refresh the technologies. And that's it, you now know how to download and install SQL Server on your Windows computer. Remember to choose the appropriate version and features based on your needs. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.